Hey, it's Thomas here, and today we're doing a quick review on the Toons Wave Box. Classic. If you want to create a ton of natural water movement using structured or standing waves, do it more efficiently than standard wave pumps and with a controller that has automatic settings to help you on your path to the perfect wave for your tank, then you have to check out the Toons Wave Box. Moving water around our tanks is one of the basic requirements of reef keeping and aquarium keeping in general. Water movement is responsible for aiding in gas exchange and oxygenation, transporting nutrients to our corals while also removing waste and preventing detritus from accumulating where it shouldn't so that it makes it into the filtration system where it belongs. As reefers, we strive to create the most natural and beneficial forms of flow possible, emulating the complex, massive, yet gentle currents of the ocean with a staggering array of flow pump options at our fingertips. Most reefers utilize the wide, gentle flow from propeller pumps or laminar flow of gyre pumps to get water moving in a desirable way, while a smaller subset of reefers prefers the look and performance of structured or standing waves. And there's actually a few reasons why more reefers don't get their wave on, but I'll, I'll touch on that a little bit later in the video. For well over a decade, Toons has been helping reefers create structured waves in their tank with this crazy black box, and there's a reason it's still around. Because no other pumps make standing waves in your tank quite this easily or efficiently. It's very efficient. In the box, you'll find the Toons wave box with Turbel controller and mounting bracket, magnetic mounts, spare silicone buffers, a smaller set are pre-installed on the magnets already, photoelectric cell, which is a light sensor, mounting clamp for that light sensor, and the power supply. So what exactly is a wave box and how does it work? Well, basically it's a hollow rectangular chamber with a Turbel 6095 inside of it. Using pulsating water flow, it forces water out of the chamber, allows it to fill back up, and repeats this process to create a resonant wave within the tank. Displacing the water in this way means a smaller low wattage pump can get a big body of water swaying all by itself. Sure, it's a little bit chunky, but the internal volume of this box is what makes this possible. And it hides easily against a black background. It also has safety features like you'd expect to prevent damage from running dry, and the controller will be very familiar since it uses the standard Turbel controller. Toons also includes an optional light sensor that will turn the pump on when the lights are on and shut it off when the lights go out. To get that wave going, the wave box should be placed vertically in any one of the four corners of the aquarium, facing either down the length or front to back, and the top needs to be roughly one inch above the water line. You'll also want to make sure to have adequate clearance in the aquarium for your wave. In most cases, this will be several inches of clearance to prevent water from sloshing out the sides of the tank. Making a wave using the controller is straightforward. You can use the auto adjust feature on the controller to get the wave started and then lock it in once you're happy with the wave by clicking the select button so that it lights up wave OK. To make finer adjustments from that point, it's just a matter of turning the pulse dial. Really simple, which is great. I will say though, depending on the size and frequency of the waves that you prefer for your particular tank setup, dialing it in perfect can take a little bit of time. I was able to get this wave rocking with little effort, but tank size, structures like rock work in the tank, and placement of the wave box will all come into play when dialing in that perfect wave. So take your time, and if you aren't getting the results you were hoping for, try moving the wave box to a new spot in the tank and give it another go. If you wanna pause that satisfying wave when it's time to feed, you can hit the red button to activate feed mode, which will stop the pump for 10 minutes, or unless you press it again to manually resume that wave. So why would you want a structured wave? Structured waves will create a back and forth motion in the aquarium that is very close to what you see in nature, which can be great for many inhabitants while also looking uniquely attractive. And moving the whole body of water in the aquarium in this way will do a fantastic job of keeping detritus and debris suspended, bring nutrients to corals while removing their waste, and overall just moves a ton of water in the tank with very little power consumption when compared to modern setups utilizing many pumps to circulate water in different areas of the tank. You don't need a very tall or aggressive wave to see the benefits, and for some corals like Euphelias, a gentle wave is definitely going to be best. We're not trying to go surfing or anything. We're just trying to make a calm wave. Serene. The wave box does create a breathing sound as water is pushed out of the box along with water noise that might be more than some would like. 
Overall, it's not a great option for quiet rooms like a bedroom or if an ultra silent aquarium is your goal. But if you have a tank that's built into the wall or a canopy on your aquarium, you're a lot less likely to hear it while it's making those awesome waves. Structured waves sound pretty amazing, right? There's one really big consideration, and it's probably the reason we don't see more reefers using structured waves in their reef tank. In fact, Toons actually addresses this right in their user manual, so kudos to them for keeping it real. Most wave pumps out there with a pulse feature can create standing waves in a tank, so the majority of modern reefers could take advantage of this type of flow. Albeit with a lot more power draw, usually requiring more than one pump, unless you have one really oversized pump for the tank, hence a wave box. However, a structured wave in the tank is a dynamic wave that creates a lot of shifting force, meaning as that wave travels from one end of the tank to the other, the weight of that water is moving back and forth with it. This will without a doubt put more stress on the aquarium and the stand. In other words, that tank has to be built extremely well out of very high quality materials. This means that standard off-the-shelf aquariums or garage sale deals are not great options for structured waves. The stand also has to be properly built to endure those shifting forces. Flat pack stands or build-it-yourself furniture are likely to end up folding like a house of cards over time. Toons also believes that it's safe to assume a 15% reduction in tank longevity, meaning how long that tank will last for you. Considering most tanks are rated for around 25 years and the majority of us, let's face it, are gonna upgrade long before then. Usually around the 10 year mark, tanks are looking pretty ragged anyhow. So really, I think that's negligible and that lifespan reduction doesn't really affect any of us in a practical way. Come on, we're just, we're just gonna upgrade. We always upgrade. To sum it up, if you want a structured wave, you also want an aquarium and stand built by a trusted manufacturer designed to withstand the stresses associated with structured waves. I wouldn't be discouraged though, Toons has sold thousands of wave boxes over the years to many happy customers. I've actually got a very close friend who's a marine biologist and he absolutely swears by the Toons wave box, which is really what got my interest in this classic piece of reefing gear in the first place. And I gotta say, I, I absolutely get it. Move a ton of water in a natural way, very efficiently, and there's something just so visually pleasing about that swaying water motion. Now it is definitely possible to have a similar effect in the aquarium without a standing wave by having two wave pumps at opposing ends of the tank set up in anti-sync, so one is on high while the other is on low, and then they switch. It won't be quite as natural or fluid looking as a structured wave, but it has proven to be a great way to provide flow to corals by thousands of reefers. To see just how easy it is for you to get flow right in your tank, check out Ryan's five minute guide on flow right here. He's gonna show you how to move that water around using just the right tools to keep your corals and your fish and your inverts and everything in your tank super happy. It's not nearly as complicated as it might seem. I mean, there's a lot of pump options, so it can get confusing, but deconfuse yourself. That's a word.